Hi, I'm Sherry McGill, and you're watching Lessons Learned. Well, hello there, my quilty friends. How are you all doing this week, this cold, cold week? I'm freezing. Um, let's get to it. I've got uh, some sewing that I got done this week, as usual, hopefully. Um, yeah, it was a good week. I got, got some stuff done here, and I will share them with you. First of all, I got one of my Nantucket Summer Blocks done. Uh, this came in the mail, I think I said it came in the mail this last weekend. I mentioned it on Monday, but this is called uh, Oceanside. This one didn't have any green in it. It was just the light blue, dark blue, and then the white um, prints there. Went together pretty easily. I'm just going to stick it over here. And then I got, of course, I got our vintage mystery block done, which if you're following that, you saw that on Wednesday. Easy, easy block and turned out cute. Very cute. One more block on that. And we'll be sashing her up. I did two shimmer blocks. I did this one. I think I may have showed it to you on Monday. I'm not sure. I got that one. And I have this one. This one I used the corners uh, edges they are the same color as some of the inner pieces so that one will be really bright in the quilt I think I counted a while ago I have 10 of these done and I need 20 so I'm half done with the blocks I'll just stick those on here just to kind of get them out of the way And then I wanted to talk a little bit about our, our hometown charms. Uh, I took the, the major part of the, the quilt off. Um, actually, I went ahead and sewed my top row together and then sewed it on. So you've seen that hanging up there a lot. But then I also wanted to show you uh, the block for this week, which is this one. And I have sewed this together. And I just have one more block left, and that one will be over. So Pat Sloan is winding down on Hometown Charms because we only have one block left. I did not talk last week about this one. This was um, the library block. So uh, she was asking us to think about libraries from our hometown. Now, I didn't have a library in my hometown. There was one in the county seat uh, there. I don't know that I ever set foot in it, but you know, the library was something we, you know, frequented at school. So um, that's the only real memories of, of a library that I have of my hometown. And uh, I loved the library. I really, really loved the library. I've never been an avid reader as some of you are. You can read, you know, 50 books a year or you know, you can polish off a book in a week or a few days. I, I can't do that. I just, I'm just not that kind of a reader. But uh, as I've always um, mentioned on this channel, I, I love knowledge. I love to learn new things. Um, so, you know, mo mostly the, uh, uh, the type of books that were nonfiction <laughs> appealed to me more things about nature, things about how to do things, um, that kind of thing, places in, uh, around the world and, and things like that. So uh, I, I loved going into the library. I loved the smell of the library and, uh, you know, the peace and quiet in the library, all very appealing to me. And then this week we have the corner store. That's what this block is here, the corner store. And... Uh, there again, in the, in the little town uh, close to where we lived, there was a corner store, you know, took five or ten minutes to get down there in a car. And uh, the corner stores, back when, you know, I was living at home, they, they weren't 7-Elevens, you know, they weren't uh, Circle K's or 
Speedway or whatever it is you all happen to have in, in your town uh, and all around here where I live, but it was just a little little grocery store and it was called Charlie Hammond's Grocery Store and a little couple uh, ran that store um, and uh, you know, we got to know them quite well and we would go down there as a special treat to get uh, a knee-high orange or a knee-high grape soda that was one of my favorite things or um, uh, from the ice cream freezer I would get a push-up you know what a push-up up is that's the little round uh, ice cream that you you pushed it up and it came off the top and it was a kind of an orange orange cream sherbet type thing I don't think you can get those anymore but they were called push-ups and they were just in that one flavor but uh, we would also take our Coke bottles down there and turn them in. And when we bought new, uh, an, you know, an, a pack of bottled Coke, you know, we'd have to turn your, you'd have to turn your, uh, your old bottles and your empty bottles in. So that was something that we did there. So that, that's got some good memories attached to it. Some feel good times. And that's my version of, of Corner Store right here. So we have one more. And we'll have to wait and see what Pat Sloan has uh, for us to talk about on that next week. And as a grand finale for my projects, I got a quilt quilted and bound. Yes, this is the Milk Can Quilt. And I did a little free motion. Here you can see a little better. I did a little free motion quilting inside those cans and then some uh, stitch in the ditch also. And it turned out really cozy and I really like it. And let me see, did I show you the binding? Here's the binding. It's a, uh, a stripe, kind of a peachy, salmon-y, dark pink, light pink, and cream. And I thought that just went really well with, with the, I had put on uh, Pat Sloan's Facebook kind of a poll of sorts if I should use that or something more blue like this I had laying beside it. And almost everyone picked the blue, but the blue had a little bit of a, a modernish design in it, kind of like a thready circle design in it and I just thought you know that just really doesn't go with milk can kind of this country-ish look so I went ahead and went with the pink stripe so the rebel that I am right and then I want to show you the back too I did my um pieced back I think I showed you before I had it put together I have some in the corner up here and I have some in the opposite corner and then I have this center section it doesn't go all the way up to the top it's the same on the bottom as it is on the top it's just that this little piece here is in the opposite corner down there so let me hang this up for you so you can look at that while I'm talking about your guys finishes for this week. I'm going to stick these pins in there so they don't. Hopefully I can get this up here without pulling the whole board down. Okay. Got some strings from the floor, looks like. Hopefully that won't fall down while we're talking here. There we go. There it is. Now you can see it. Here's our back. It feels so good to get one done. Completely done. Nothing like that feeling, is there? All right. That is a Moda pattern. If you want to go find it on Moda Fabrics, uh, it's called Milk Can Moo or something like that. 
Um, and then this fabric is by Benertex. It's uh, designed by Pat Sloan. And you can find that in Fat Quarter Shop or pretty much any of the online stores might have some of it. Uh, this was actually made from a layer cake that I won off of uh, Pat Sloan's website here a few months ago. Not too awful long ago. All right, so let's see what you guys have done this week. Okay, Carol did some uh, of the... of the vintage style blocks from our sew along the vintage uh, mystery sew along she did a few blocks um in some kind of 30s fabric it's called 30s playtime by moda and then some other vintage style fabrics that she had that's turning out really cute Oh, good. All, all those primary colors there. It's going to make a really cute, really, really cute little quilt. And then Diane sent me one. It's a golf quilt. And this is a present for, the, for her boss, the CEO of the company that she works for. He's an avid golfer. And Diane found all the fabrics from different shops on Etsy. And it was done as a quilt as you go. And the sashing fabric was also used for the backing. And that is one cool golf quilt. <laughs> Where in the world did you find all those golf uh, fabrics? Well, you said on Etsy, but wow. That turned out really cute. It's got golf carts on it. Everything related to golf. And your uh, quilt as you go turned out really cool. And then we had one from Mary. And this is a Fat Quarter Shop designer mystery from 2021 that she just recently got finished. And it's done up in looks like some Moda fabrics in peaches and greens and red very very pretty and i'm sure that feels good to get that top done after uh, a couple of years almost <laughs> that happens to us sometimes we we get behind on some projects or like me i've got so many projects going at the same time it's just hard to get them done in a, in a timely way but that's okay you got it done and it looks great and i think that's all i have for this week pretty sure yep that's it so uh, it's getting to be a busy time of year for a lot of people so maybe you're not sewing as much but i hope you are uh, keep up the the momentum with your sewing and, and get some things done um, it, you might have some some projects that you're just almost done but it's getting to that busy time but just uh, uh part out some few minutes here and there so you can <laughs> get in there and get those things done and I wanted to mention that uh, before the end of this month I want to have a little planning session with you for the month of December and that is to kind of wrap up loose ends for 2022 and then during December uh, at some point I'm going to have another planning session for at least the first three months of 2023 and not only um, what I'm planning to do but you can get your uh, calendar out as well and plan out some things that that you want to do too not sure what um, platform I'm going to do that on but uh, either way there will be some sort of a video out that you can watch later on it if you are not able to participate but we'll have more details on that later but in the meantime start thinking about what you need to wrap up and then also what you want to start up in 2023. So for now, that's all we have. And so a little something this weekend, if you can. And uh, we'll see you back here on uh, Monday Quilt Chat. All right. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you soon. Bye.